Hey yo, what's good everybody? I hope you're having a fantastic day or night, wherever you may be in the world. Before I get into the actual video, there are a couple of things that I want to cover. So if you are not interested, then by all means, skip the intro of the video and go on to the main part of the video. So the things that I want to cover is that obviously I've not been posting videos as much as I would like. And I just want to once again apologize profusely for this. Um, obviously, I'm working every day of the week and in my free time, I've been working on a project that is related to Ever Crisis. But um, yeah, it's been both exciting and really annoying trying to get this project done. And I'm still not that close to completing it. But when it's complete, I will definitely let you guys know right over here and um that's that other than that i do want to say thank you to each and every one of you who watch like comment and subscribe to my videos it really really means a lot to me especially that i understand that with my busy schedule i'm not able to release one as many videos and two uh videos quickly for lack of a better word I know there are tons of other content creators out there who release videos way before me on all of this stuff. So the fact that you guys watch, like, comment and subscribe on my videos really, really means a lot to me. And I appreciate you guys. You guys are the real MVPs. And with that being said, I do want to say that I do plan to 100% keep up with my channel as much as humanly possible. And regardless of work, I want to keep going in my channel. I'm going to keep making videos. I'm going to try and keep the quality of my videos up as high as possible and add new things here or there. I'm definitely going to add a lot more to the channel um, and even branch away from Evercrisis a little bit. So I hope that is something that is going to be acceptable. With that being said, let's... Uh, there's one more thing I need to cover, and that is the timing of the anniversary, and my situation is absolutely terrible. Um, basically, my escapades here in America are complete. I was not able to find a way to stay here permanently. I was not able to get a, a work visa or a green card, even though I have degrees and qualifications. It is a lot harder than it used to be, so that is uh, a bit bleak. Uh, I'm going to miss a lot of things here in the US. One thing that I'm not going to miss is the mosquitoes here in Arizona because they are crazy about me and I'm not crazy about them. Anyways, that is pretty much all I wanted to say. Um, the fact that I will not be able to easily cover the anniversary as it comes out because I'll be flying on the 5th of September and pretty much landing late afternoon on the 6th of September because it is a 20 hour flight from here to South Africa. So that's going to be painful. And on top of that, I'm going to be jet lagged out of my mind. So yeah, really, really bad timing. Right as the anniversary is dropping, I'm going to be on a flight and jet lagged. That is pretty much all that I wanted to say for now. Stay tuned. For the project that I'm working on and all of the rest. So let's get into the actual video itself. Now as mentioned in terms of where there are other creators plus you know the in-game notice has been out for some time now already you've probably already had a look at this but I want to cover it anyway because I'm super excited about the anniversary. So that is pretty much the video looking at what the anniversary has to offer. And the first thing is that we get one set of gear of our choice, excluding crossover and limited gear, which is a little bleak, but it's still really cool. If there's a piece of gear you really wanted and you weren't able to get, now is your time. On the first anniversary, we are getting a gift of a ticket that gives us one gear piece that we want. That is super, super cool. I'm going to have a tough time choosing which gear I want to grab. Other than that, we log in to get up to 26 weapons from the draw. And these are not those blue or purple garbage weapons. These are five star weapons guaranteed. The 26 
half star weapons guaranteed um which is really awesome and from all of the different characters over time so a nice spread of five star weapons that are going to help newer players and veteran players alike to get a few more weapons to add to their arsenal so here you can see blah 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 total of uh 30 to 26 weapons excuse me two weapons for each character so it's spread across all of the characters and that is cool we're also getting uh level 80 enhancement material and gill so that we can at least enhance a lot more weapons and this is especially good for the newer players and we're also getting a free draw with up to 300 draws so that is 30 uh 10 draws with one or more five star weapons guaranteed where the character changes daily so one day we're going to get a five star weapon guaranteed for Aerith, next a five star guaranteed for Vincent etc etc so they are showering us with real good stuff for the anniversary then here's an overview of the anniversary we're getting the addition of ultimate weapons first anniversary limited time gear which i must say is friggin awesome then the addition of brands which is a whole new mechanic slash content to the game a new battle tower with tons of rewards and a new event the Setra story birth of the destroyer which i'm really really looking forward to so let's take a look the new type of weapon as mentioned in the previous videos that we didn't know what this weapon type would be we now know they are ultimate weapons and they have ultimate command abilities so that is going to be really, really cool. It looks kind of like uh, it's sort of generic weapons, but beefed up. So it's like the Buster Sword and weapons like that, which is a little disappointing. I was expecting brand new weapons, but uh, that's fine. <laughs> um, ultimate weapons with new UC abilities. These weapons are not are going to be equipped in the main weapon slot they're going to have their own specific slot for the weapons so that's going to increase character power by quite a lot because you can still equip your main set and then equip an ultimate weapon on top of that giving you a lot more power and a new ultimate command ability which is super cool and we can get these from some some of the draws that we're going to be seeing in the future and even at exclusive exchanges and as a clear slash exchange reward for the new event mentioned below so we can even get these ultimate weapons. It's not just going to be like a pay pay for the ultimate weapons thing or use your limited uh, crystals for it. We're actually going to be able to get some of them from clearing events and stuff like that. So that is really, really cool as well. Speaking of events, we get the Battle Tower, Singularity, the Maelstrom Tower. Now this tower is basically made to for all players. So there are lower difficulty stages for the newer players so that at least they can also participate get rewards and enjoy the new content because some of the stuff is pretty high level and uh, newer players are going to struggle with that but for this there are missions all the way from easy missions for new players all the way to really difficult missions for absolute veterans and whales alike so if you take a look at the list it says Ranges from quests uh, from low difficulty quests that are easy for new players to try to high difficulty quests that only a handful of the management team were just barely able to complete. So even for veteran players like me that don't pay too much in the game, the high difficulty quests are probably going to be a struggle if only a handful of the friggin' management team of the game were able to complete it. But the rewards for it are amazing. You can get ultimate weapons and 10k blue crystals, which is really generous. Um, a lot more than what we usually get. So that is super exciting. Now this, the Cetra story, Birth and the Destroyer, is something that I personally am super excited about. Because honestly, in Final Fantasy VII, we obviously know about the Cetra. It's touched on the Ancients, but we don't know a whole lot about it, so... Having a, an exclusive event based on the Cetra is, for me, one of the coolest things that the anniversary has to offer. So, your party suddenly find themselves the target of a Wack Bahamut, which looks freaking cool, um, of his wrath, and only to be saved by an Ancient. So, you learn the story of Bahamut and the Dragon Masters as told by the Cetra. So, Bahamut 
plus Cetra equals nice. For me, that is a really cool event and story. I'm going to be looking super forward to that. And then along with that, we get limited time gear, such as the Bahamut Garb. I mean, how badass is this? It's cloud basically as Bahamut. <laughs> and uh, the R abilities are also nothing to scoff at. Boost attack for all allies. Really, really cool. And Bahamut Spot, which is basically boost physical attack and boost physical ability potency in one. So, boosts physical attack, also boosts physical ability damage when the attack stance uh, is at max. So, the command gauge. Really freaking awesome. Then, we also have this new content slash mechanic, the Branding Stone, uh, which adds random effects to weapons. So, you can pick your favorite weapon. Uh, regardless of what that might be, Zack's Ceremonial Sword, Sephiroth, Stark Heavens, Clouds, Sky Spitter, whatever it is, Murasame. You can add a branding stone to it to get extra stats and effects, so you can just power your weapons up even more. There's three rarities of these things, so the lower rarities have a smaller chance to grant exceptional effects, really high level effects, while the higher rarities have a bigger chance, obviously, to grant really good effects. We'll see more about that in the video. And then general quality of life improvements. So there's an option for automatic activation of all abilities. So what that means is that when you auto battling, you can now have the option to have your characters automatically use their limit breaks and summons when they are ready. So that is really cool. And that's going to help uh, some of the more mundane grinds where you just slap auto battle on and now you can do more damage because your limit breaks and summons are going to be used as well a retry button on the premium quests so you don't have to go in and out each time and you can just do all three premium quests by spamming retry battle improvements uh for the ai for allies which i've been crying about for some time now hopefully with this improvement if you have Aerith with sun umbrella she's not just going to spam the sun umbrella ability over and over again Hopefully, she will be a bit smarter about what ability she uses now. So that, for me, is a really cool thing. And then improvements of a lot of different stuff in the game, which is always nice. So, yeah, that is super cool. Lots of new stuff coming to the anniversary. Something that I didn't mention is the addition of new buffs slash debuffs, which is uh, physical damage resist and magical damage resist, which are new buffs that we haven't... Uh, yet seen and that is also going to be coming along with all of the other goodies mentioned i'm so hyped i just you know even though the this has been out for a while now i just you know had to cover it when i got the chance um so you know if you've watched other creators or you've looked at the notices in game then there's nothing new here for you sadly but i wanted to be able to drop a video for all of you just to let you know where i stand and you know take a look at the anniversary with you get excited with you um, I can't wait. So to summarize everything that I've covered, they have the anniversary trailer, of course. So let's sit back and enjoy it together. Can't wait. Look at that Bahamut. Mm. So freaking cool. There's the brands you can see applying the brands to the Buster Sword. Boom. See ability effect and P attack. I'm super.
super excited. I hope you are too. Um, yeah, first anniversaries are always big, and this one is definitely in that category. Um, yeah, I am super bleak that I'm going to be flying slash jet lagged when this actually drops, but um, as soon as I'm back there and I'm over the jet lag, I've set everything up back there, I will be back covering as much as I can. Um, so yeah, thank you as always so much for watching. Enjoy the anniversary. Best of luck on all of your pools. And hopefully I'll see you when I'm back in South Africa. Um, and hopefully I'll be able to do a lot more with my channel. See you then. Bye-bye.